Hello traders! Welcome in our daily stock discussion. In this video, we will talk about the ceiling play that happened with MA. Bakit siya nagkaroon ng ceiling play but eventually bumagsak siya ng todo at hindi na sustain yung ceiling play na price action. Ano yung mga dapat mong gawin if you already have MA na bilhin nyo at a, at a very low average, it is time to sell na ba or should you add more? sa mga merong hawak at nabili at at much higher prices at ipit ano yung mga dapat gawin ma meron bang trading plan for tomorrow may potential pa rin ba mag ceiling play so panoorin niyo itong video na to at i-discuss ko sa inyo lahat ng mga dapat ninyong malaman in order for you to know what to do next time kapag may mga ganitong ceiling play no so first off we want to try to discuss a uh, the index first, di ba? As you can see, the index opened gap down. It went as high as 68.66 price point level but failed to break out the 6900 level of resistance. So, as you can see, pangit pa rin ang naging ending ni, ni, ni index as compared doon sa Dow Jones na nag-gap down siya pero kahit pa paano nag-close nag siya sa upper half ng price point with a green candlestick. No? As you can see, if the price point of 6700 level will not hold dito yan, so we might see a breakdown from that. It will challenge the 6500 level of support. So let me plot you the the support lines para makita ninyo so very significant pa rin yung 6700 level of support na nangyari in between of 2015 then dito sa 2016 as you can see nangyari din siya nag hold sa 2016 no so dito medyo nag hold so breakdown of this 6700 na area of support we might see the index will trade and try to break down if the 6500 level of support will hold so sa banda rito yan no so for tomorrow's trading plan watch out if the 6700 area of support will hold if it will not hold we might see the index will go much further down below it and try to to test if the 6500 level will hold so, mamaya, before we end this video, we want to see the Dow Jones performance so that we will have a insight for the first few minutes of trading sa US market so that we can prepare ourselves kung ano yung magiging approach natin in our local market. If you try to follow my Investagrams account, I already informed you that last week, the S&P 500, as we speak, also in good shape with commodity sectors up and caught my attention for DO. So, ito yun. If we observe DO, it, it is a penny stock with around 445 million market cap. It went as high as 18% up. No, So, I already told you na we have the same setup like this katulad ni SOC na it is worth an eye to watch out for tomorrow so kahapon to 23 hours ago and kung mapapansin nyo itong CDO is uh, sa basic material industry siya so if we will try to observe SOC right now be very very careful on trading SOC kasi may ugali itong pump and dump no so as you can see SOC break out the MA200 breaching out the FIBS 236 then the price point resistance at 0.89 then breaching out the FIBS 382 but it doesn't sustain na breakdown siya ng tatlo 1, 2, 3 but luckily the MA200 holds no? so kung nakabili ka dito diba pagka breakout pa lang sa MA100 then nasakyan mo itong hanggang sa taas then you cut your, then then you take your profit already kapag ka nag breakdown na sa etong FIBS 382 or FIBS or etong price point resistance at 0 
So what we should do for tomorrow, as you can see, there are volume increasing, price are increasing, and as well as the relative strength index are increasing. So watch out for tomorrow if this FIBS 236 will hold. No, pero still trade in a very relative small amount of money when you try to trade this SOC penny stock. So let's talk another stock. Etong si Ma, I skip ko muna to pero mamaya i-explain ko. Etong si MR MRSGI, I already told you na MRSGI is trading on very very oversold level reaching out the RSI na historical support, no? So ayan, so since ever since I did not ever traded this stock from the start of my trading journey for my almost four years of experience no so sabi ko is now uh, MRSGI is now trading at oversold level breaking down the historical oversold level RSI at 14 which occurred last 2016 and 2017 so ngayon diba sabi ko it will be very wise to allocate small amount of money to trade with this stock for bounce play setup since its business is related with stores and retail operation which is highly affected with global health issues so NCOB so if you try to visit uh, MRSGI may kita nyo merong spike but yung spike nya if you if you will try to observe on intraday basis isang huge spike huge price spike lang then bumagsak ulit no? so medyo illiquid to still trade in a very very relative small amount of money and watch list lang to kapag ka may magandang entry uh, saka natin siya papasukin but for now busted na ito kasi umangat na yung RSI hindi na siya nasa oversold level because MRSGI ended with 3.77% gain no so yan yung mga dapat we na watch list natin if we try to to trade a stock in a bounce place bounce play na setup so ang unang magiging target price mo is the MA9 or this one etong support level at 1.8 pesos per share as you can see it it is confluence with the MA20 at the same time etong week niya diyan siya nahirapan na i-break out so let's talk about MA so ito yung pinaka highlight ng pag-uusapan natin so sabi ko MA yesterday a bird divergence has spotted between the two ceiling place at February 21, 27 respectively. Though, we got a decent volume between those two ceiling play setup. Kung mapapansin nyo dito, dumoble. Ito yung ceiling play. Ito, kalahati. Tapos, nagkaroon ng ceiling play dito, doble. No? So, ito kalahati. Ito, doble. But, there are uh, bearish divergence that occurred diba? itong RSI plus itong price action na medyo very 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 steep na yung pag-angat ng price so so if you want to trade ma you should trade it with caution and please do not over allocate sabi ko so again sabi ko uh, the ceiling play the setup is already busted no for ceiling plays so, hindi na siya uh, sexy yung setup niya. Hindi na ganun kaganda or ganun ka-attractive sa mata. So, medyo meron ng butas or medyo meron ng palyado or faulty na yung, yung uh, ceiling play na setup na ito. So, sabi ko, watch out if the FIBS 886 left hand. So, etong pula na to. Itong 1.67. If this will hold or... FIB 618 right hand at price point of 170 will hold. Sabi ko, as of now, it is prudent to stay away from this stock since there are a lot of plays that have better setup than this. So, if you will try to ask me, bakit ko pinasok si Ma? No? So, let's try to visit Ma. So, ayan, meron tayong uh, divergence dito as I discuss with you. So ayan. So wala pa itong wala pa itong kulay pula na ito. Ayan, may bird divergence. As you can see, the first ceiling play has a good volume, above average volume. It doubles on the second day of ceiling play and it tripled on the last day of ceiling play kasi ceiling play lang to medyo bumagsak lang, hindi lang na sustained. So as you can see, ganyan. 
So if you try to, to look on that intraday chart basis, so nung nag price spike siya dito, uh, sa totoo lang maganda yung index kaya din siya nag nag spike up, then yung euro nag spike up din but it plays like around 5 to 8 percent lang alam ko with, with within that day. So kung mapapansin niyo nag price up dito, then I entered a trade around 2.05 if I remember, no? So, based on the 3 minute intraday chart basis, maganda pa rin yung setup neto, but please keep in mind meron tayong bear divergence on daily chart. So, parang yun yung warning signal na nagpapaalala sa na, uy, don't be greedy, uy, don't over allocate. Kaya nga on on my total allocation, kunwari 20%, I just allocate 10% lang. Kasi 'di ba, ang rule of thumb natin pag downtrend ang market kapag uh, there are there are so many uncertainties tapos medyo hindi ka pa sigurado sa trade mo there are some uh, faulty uh, technical uh, setup di ba so dapat maximum mo na yung 50% per allocation so kung ang nag-aallocate ka sa stock is tig to 20% sa 20% na yun kalahati lang yung i-allocate mo so pwedeng 10% or like tip 50% of 20%. So nag-allocate ako ng 10% nandito since maganda pa yung setup as you can see, uh, it traded with a range of 2.208 hanggang sa 2 pesos per share. So pagka breakout dito, nagantay ako mag-retrace then pagka breakout dito, bili ako dito sa 2.05 or 2.06 sa uh, pagka breakout niya sa FIBS eto FIBS 886 right so let's go back to the chart no nag breakout siya dito dumire diretso then bumili ako at around 2.2 kasi nag hold to nag hold oh as you can see nag hold nagre retest nag hold and it creates higher high but again napansin ko there 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 has a bear divergence no As you can see here, merong bird divergence. Let me try to draw. Ayan, merong small bird divergence as you can see from this price point until this price point. So, kung iaayos natin ganyan. So, from here, di ba, hanggang dito merong bird divergence. Kung i-extend mo pa yan, ganyan. Hanggang dito. As you can see, the RSI from here price point, ito, bilugan natin para makita nyo. Ito, kung makikita nyo, yung RSI is above 70, right? But it it goes much more higher in price action, but the RSI is now trade, trading at below 70, no? So, I already posted na ayan, no? kitang-kita nyo. Sabi ko, take profit time. Happy na ako eh. Bird divergence has spotted in 3-minute intraday chart. So, bago pala mangyari itong mga to, itong apat, tatlong green at itong isang pula, dito tayo nag-take profit sa, uh, alam ko, 2.35. So, ito yun. Ito. So, somewhere here, 2.35. Ay, hindi. Sorry. Ito pala. 2.35, eto. So, inunahan na natin. Hindi pa siya nagbe-breakdown. Inunahan na natin. So, meron tayong gain. If we bought at 2.2, at 10% ulit. 10% dito, 10% dito. So, may gain tayo ng maliit. If we, if we sold at 2.35, sa pinaka-high. And at the same time, meron tayong gain. If we sell at 2.35, if we bought it on 2.25. So, overall, panalo tayo sa trade na yon. Now, pangalawa, bumagsak, right? So sabi sabi ng iba, o oh, nga no, tama, tama yung bear divergence, buti na lang nag-take profit tao, bumagsak nga totoo. Then, nag-follow up ako. Sabi ko, please don't chase prices since V shape price point is a faulty base. Large percentage of this kind setup will fail and leave you with heavy losses. If trading is unavoidable, kung makating-makati talaga yung kamay nyo, 
please buy at ceiling price closing itself with the relatively very small amount of allocation. Bakit? Kasi on daily chart, meron na tayong uh, bear divergence. Pangalawa, on intraday, meron bear divergence. Pangatlo, on intraday, meron V price point na na set up no so tatlo na yun na medyo pangit na kung tutusin red flag na nga yun eh so kung talaga nagsiling at talagang pinaglalaruan very very small not larger from your previous gains kung naglagay ka ng 10,000 at nanalo ka dun kumita ka and if you want to try to enter much lower pwedeng 4,000 3,000 wag kang lalagpas ng kalahati kasi if you try to trade um, higher than 50%. Ang mangyayari kapag ka natalo kayo, nagkamali kayo, binalik nyo lang yung kita nyo, or worse, diba, nalugi ka pa, natalo ka pa. So, yung panalo mo, binalik mo na nga, natalo ka pa. So, sabi ko, not larger from your previous allocation to avoid returning all your gains if setup will be busted. So, tatlo na yung nakikita natin. So, nag-price point ng V, Siguro, iniisip nyo, uy, breakout dito, bili tayo dito. So, pwede, bili kayo in a very, very relatively small amount of money. So, nagkaroon ng V, sabi ko, ano na to eh, busted to, pangit yung setup, red flag to. Kasi, hindi to nagdaan sa proper consolidation na price action, no? So, sabi nyo, uy, nag-hold naman yung 2.4, nag-hold, nag-hold, or 2.7, siguro mali yung ano, mali yung forecast, mali yung stock forecast ni ganito, ni ganyan, no? Tapos bumagsak, natulala ka, no? Pagkabili mo dito, hindi ka nakapag-cut loss, natulala ka, ayan, negative 12 ka na kagad tuloy. ba? Eh, paano kapag malaki yung nilagay mo, o, oh, di mahihirapan ka mag-cut, okay lang sana kung maliit, kahit, kahit mag-negative 12 yan, okay lang sa'yo mag-cut, kasi maliit lang naman yung talo, eh, paano kapag malaki, Kasi nga, na-hype ka na, na-fomo ka. Uy, mali naman eh. Tapos, if we try to extend this one, ah, uh, buray natin to. If we try to extend this one, may nakikita ba kayo? Ayan o, oh, may makikita kayong ano, bearish divergence ulit to. O, oh. from this high, above 70 RSI, from this RSI below 70, pantay na pantay o, oh, divergence. So, what happened? it goes down. Halatang pilit na pilit eh, 'di ba? Pagdating dito, tingnan niyo yung ano, yung breakout dito, 'di ba? May may pag-angat dito. Yung pag-breakout dito may volume, pero yung pag-breakout dito walang volume mo. Oh. Kaya nga is isa rin yun sa dahilan kung bakit napabenta oh dito bukod sa merong uh, bearish divergence, wala ding volume yung breakout oh. Uh, so sorry, nag-restart lang yung chart natin. So again, Merong bearish divergence dito, then dito merong bearish divergence. Ngayon, if you want to try to trade, diba, break out from here, supported with a very large volume, pwede kayong umentoy dito, pero still very, very small amount of money, not much higher from your previous uh, trade. Kasi nga, pag busted na nga ito eh, madami na tayong red flag na nakita. So, as you can see, it doesn't hold bumagsak lalo. So, let's check daily. So, trading for tomorrow, if you have uh, if you have ma pa rin for tomorrow, watch out if this FIBS 886 or 2 pesos level pesos will hold or itong FIBS extension at 2 pesos level. So, I suggest na kinabukasan uh, if it opens below than the closing price of this price point sell up, sell all at once na yan dapat dapat hindi nyo na hinohold yan or kapag ka medyo nabili nyo sa taas uh, medyo masakit yan eh kasi dapat dito pa lang cut loss na kayo or dito so kung hindi kayo nakapag cut loss ng ano tapos medyo mataas pa yung nabili nyo watch out if this 2 pesos will hold if this will not hold well, masakit talaga kundi cut loss but if this will hold hold nyo lang until maka-recover until 2.21 na makikita nyo medyo relatively small na yung mga losses nyo and okay na sa inyo mag-cut then do it, do it 
on that way, no? Pwede ring yun. If uh, wala ka pang ma, then ma has a very very good price point setup na good entry point ng trade. We must buy if ma will break out the 2.2 pesos level per share gaya nung binili ko kanina, pwede din doon sa 2.2. So, pag hindi nag-breakout to, medyo pangit na i-trade. So, as of now, wala pa ako nakikita magandang uh, senyales para i-trade si Ma. As you can see, di ba? Merong bearish divergence somewhere here, then dito meron din. So, medyo ingat-ingat tayo sa pag-trade kay Ma. No? So, that's it for now. I hope you learned something in this video. And please comment down below kung ano yung natutunan nyo at kung ano pa yung mga stock na gusto nyo i-analyze natin. And, please don't forget to subscribe in our channel so that you can get the latest content that I upload each night so that you will be informed with our trading and investment decisions. And also, please do not forget to like and follow our Facebook account and Instagram account. Kasi doon, Uh, dinidiscuss natin yung mga immediate na mga dapat ninyong malaman so that you will be always keep updated etong video dito natin itinuturo yung mga tamang pagbili at pagbenta no so before we end this video i want to share to share with you the Dow Jones Industrial Average kung ano na ang nangyayari on the international market so let's take a look So at this point in time, we can see that the Dow Jones opened gap up and is now trading at 25.6 thousand points, and we might see a good or positive impact on our local market or in our index. So what we need to do right now is just to wait and to and check if the Dow Jones will close positively this morning so god bless us all bye bye